Linux desktops are becoming too good windows and macOS should be scared and if that statement sounds bold, stick around because the story is bigger than just a trend. It is a transformation, a shift in power, and a silent revolution happening in real time on computers all over the world and most people do not even realize it, yet we are. Living in a moment where the Linux desktop experience has reached a point of refinement, polish, and usability that was once thought impossible for something that started as an open source hobby project and now stands toe to toe with billion dollar operating systems built by tech giants. The gap is closing faster than ever and for the first time the competitors are not just watching, they are feeling the pressure because Linux today is smoother, faster, more customizable, secure, and often more beautiful than what the mainstream has been. Selling for decades. Imagine this, a system where you control Everything. No forced updates, no bloat, no telemetry, no ads in the start menu, no restrictions on hardware, no subscription to keep basic features and no price tag at all. Just pure computing, freedom and power in the hands of the user. That is what modern Linux is offering. It is not the complicated terminal. Driven system people once feared it as polished and user friendly from installation to everyday use with interfaces that rival or even surpass. The design languages of Windows and Mac OS and all of this is driven not by corporations but by communities, passionate developers, and a culture of freedom and innovation. So let us talk about why Linux desktops have become too good, why the big players should be worried, and how this change is reshaping personal computing for the future. Picture someone installing Linux today, maybe Pop OS, Ubuntu, Fedora, Linux Mint, KDE. Neon Manjaro, even Stimos. The installation process is cleaner than Windows. Most distributions finish setup in minutes without the long list of corporate agreements, tracking permissions, and bundled products. Windows pushes OneDrive Microsoft accounts, Edge browser ads, even Candy Crush at one point. Mac OS is polished, but locked down and optimized only for Apple hardware, while Linux just installs without interruptions, no nagging, nothing extra, just the system. As for the first boot on Linux feels refreshing, the desktop's clean, fast, and responsive, no bloat consuming. RAM no telemetry services starting in the background, no antivirus tool draining resources because Linux does not need one in most cases. The user interface can look like Windows like Mac OS or something completely unique that neither of them can achieve KDE. Plasma, for example, is like having a creative playground for the desktop environment. The customization options are endless. You can change the entire layout from top panel Mac style to bottom classic taskbar window style, or even a minimal tile layout for productivity. You can animate it, theme it, script it, and bend it to your workflow while keeping it lightweight and blazing fast. And GNOME brings a refined modern interface that feels sleek, elegant, and distraction-free, almost like what Mac OS would be if Apple gave users more control. But Apple never does control, is the keyword. Linux gives it Windows and Mac OS. Take it away. Think about how computing has changed over the last 10 years. Windows has become more aggressive with tracking ads, subscriptions, and cloud integration. Mac OS is moving into walled garden territory every year, locking features to its ecosystem and pushing users into Apple services. Linux, however, moves toward openness, collaboration, privacy, and user choice, and people are noticing creators, developers, gamers, coders, students, and everyday home users are switching not out of rebellion but out of preference because the experience is now simply better for many use cases and let us talk about gaming for a moment because for years this was the reason people stayed away from Linux titles were limited drivers were messy and performance was unreliable but then Valve stepped in with Proton DXVK and Steam Play and suddenly thousands of Windows games just worked on Linux as if they were native gamers installed Linux for Steamos tested Proton checked benchmarks and realized something shocking. Some games run better on Linux than on Windows thanks to lower overhead and optimized resource handling. Thousands of videos online show Linux outperforming Windows in FPS and frame stability. Esports players are experimenting, content creators are shifting, and Steam Deck becoming a hit prove that Linux gaming is no longer fantasy. It is mainstream when a handheld console running Arch Linux sells millions and succeeds globally. That is a signal Windows and Mac OS cannot ignore gaming was the Last while now it is collapsing faster than anyone imagined, but gaming is only one piece productivity. Software is improving. Rapidly, the myth that Linux has no apps is outdated tools like LibreOffice on the Office Blender, DaVinci Resolve, Gaim P. Krita, Gaim Livingscape Audacity, Obsidian, VS Code, JetBrains, Suites, Flatpak App Image, Snaps, Flat. Repositories, app stores built directly into the system. There is software for everything. And if a user needs a Windows app, wine bottles, Proton, or virtual machines, step in the compatibilities expanding every year. Even Adobe is being pressured. People request Linux support every day. And when enough demand builds, companies move. We already saw this with Game and Office tools, creative software, even driver support, NVIDIA, and AMD deliver top tier Linux compatibility today, especially AMD, which actually performs better on Linux. In many cases, hardware support is evolving, market share is slowly climbing like a silent wave, 
and with every person switching five more, become aware the domino effect is real. But what truly scares Windows and Mac OS is that Linux is not one product, you cannot buy it. You cannot own it, you cannot shut it down. Competition is not a single company. It is an ecosystem of thousands of distros, millions of contributors and users who build, improve, test, and share every day, even if one project ends 10 more, continue the work, open source is unstoppable and decentralized like a living organism it grows. Where people need it, Windows and Mac OS are trapped in corporate framework, locked by profit margins. Investor expectations, marketing cycles, and product strategies. Linux has no limits, no boardroom, no CEO. Deciding what features users get or do not get, community decides. And the future follows when users want customization, Linux obeys when they want performance, Linux delivers when they want privacy, Linux respects it when they want stability, Linux offers LTS releases rolling, releases bleeding edge, releases niche distros, Apple polished, distros gaming, distros educational distros, security distros lightweight, distros that run on decade old laptops, enterprise distros for servers and cloud Linux is everywhere, running the internet, powering supercomputers, launching rockets, storing financial data, running AI models, managing clouds, smartphones, TVs, routers, and now finally the desktop is catching up and becoming mainstream desktops were the final frontier for Linux. The hardest territory to conquer, but the polish is here and every update pushes Linux closer to perfection. Let us imagine a normal user switching from Windows, they download Linux Mint or Zorno because it looks familiar, they install it, everything feels snappy, apps open instantly, system updates happen quietly and quickly. Without restarting multiple times, the system remains clean months later. No slowdown, no registry rot, no forced cleanup tools, no system breaking because an update shipped with ads in the taskbar or change defaults without consent, they realize Linux respects them and that alone wins loyalty. macOS users switch for freedom, for hardware, flexibility, for customization, for gaming support, or simply because they want to escape the walled garden and own their machine fully. The satisfaction of controlling the computer unlocks creativity. People theme their desktops like art, they configure workflows, automate tasks, and feel like the system works. For them, not the other way around, once someone tastes this control, going back feels restrictive because Windows and Mac OS have a different philosophy. One dictates the experience, Linux lets you shape it. Imagine if cars came only in one driving mode, one color, one speed, Windows and Mac OS, are that Linux is the car factory given to the driver. You paint it, tune it, rebuild the engine, or keep it default. It is freedom. And freedom is addictive, but Linux is not perfect. No system is new users, sometimes fear the terminal. Feel overwhelmed by choices or face compatibility issues in niche areas, but the gap is shrinking. These problems existed strongly 10 years ago today. Most users never open a terminal unless they want to the app stores make installation simple. Search, click, install. Done. Major distros recognize beginners provide helpful onboarding and documentation. YouTube channels, tutorials, forums, and communities are bigger than ever. Learning Linux today is easier than learning Excel in school, and this accessibility is dangerous for Windows and Mac OS because it removes their strongest advantage. User friendliness and familiarity no longer belong to them. Linux took that space and improved it. Desktop environments evolve. Plasma 6 GNOME 47 Cosmic Desktop from System 76. Pantheon from Elementary. OS Cinnamon Lightweight. XFCE. Performance Tuned LXQT. Each one targeting different preferences while offering beauty and smoothness. For example, Plasma feels futuristic, customizable animation, rich and optimized. Even for weak machines, GNOME feels minimal, modern, focused, and carefully designed. XFC feels old school, but powerful, fast, and efficient for low-end laptops. Cosmic brings a hybrid tiling workflow aesthetic like macOS, but with power like... Linux power users love tiling. Window managers hyper and die three sway awesome WM. They create workflows where productivity skyrockets imagined windows, arranging automatically workspaces, switching like magic keyboard-driven operation free from the mouse stands. This is efficiency. Professionals crave nothing matches that flexibility on Windows or macOS. You are stuck with what you are. Given Linux gives you the toolkit to work like a machine or chill like a casual user both extremes fit and everything in between look at ui themes global blur transparency widgets doc gestures animations wallpapers live layouts these are not gimmicks users shape <laughs> computers like digital homes personal spaces expressive and functional linux desktops look stunning search linux rice online and you will find designs that make even Mac OS aesthetic fans pause and rethink because Linux desktops can be art and performance combined. Imagine dark neon futuristic cyberpunk setups, pastel Mac inspired minimal setups, Windows style productivity bars, everything crafted exactly how the user imagines. It Windows and Mac OS do not allow this freedom as deeply as Linux does. 
Linux is also light on requirements running on old laptops, breathing life into hardware, destined for trash. A 10-year-old machine feels like new with Linux and in a world fighting e-waste sustainability and cost efficiency matter schools governments. Businesses and individuals choose Linux to save money and extend device lifespan, which threatens Windows licensing models. Apple hardware cycle profits if Linux adoption grows mainstream, their revenue models shake Windows might force subscriptions. Apple might push more ecosystem lock-in to survive. Linux has no subscription. Linux has no activation key. Linux does not charge for upgrades or features. Linux is not owned by a trillion dollar corporation. It belongs to the people and that scares competitors deeply. They cannot kill Linux. They cannot buy it out. They cannot monopolize it. And once users discover freedom, the grip loosens slowly but surely. Why pay for something less flexible? Why tolerate ads? Why accept force cloud integration? Why upgrade hardware? Just because the OS slowed down, people will start asking, and when questions begin, answers spread. And Adoption follows the next generation of users who grow up using Linux, especially through Steam Deck education programs. Raspberry Pi coding workshops. They may never feel loyal to Windows or Mac OS. The future of computing might be open source first, corporate second, kids today already dual boot, Linux to learn programming using VS Code, Python, Git, and Linux teaches them computing, not just clicking Linux builds, thinkers, creators, innovators, not just consumers. Imagine five years from now, Linux polished further apps, growing drivers, maturing big creative companies, joining in gaming, fully stabilized Apple and Microsoft, already looking at the trend because competition shapes markets. Microsoft bringing Linux subsystem WSL is not love for Linux. It is fear of losing developer market share. Windows adding package managers, redesigning settings, pushing open source friendly features. This is not coincidence. This is reaction Mac OS adding more. Developer features, optimizing performance, integrating container tooling, also reaction. They want to retain power, but Linux is breaking the gates device by device, gamer by gamer, creator by creator, developer by developer, and someday average. Everyday families might run Linux just because it works better, cheaper, and smoother than anything else. Picture a world where switching to Linux is as normal as switching phones where distros compete like brands. Danian versus Fedora versus Mint versus Papos like Samsung versus Apple, but all still open source sharing improvements across ecosystems, everyone benefits. Instead of one company controlling everything that is the beauty of open source collective growth, unstoppable, evolution, humanity-driven tech, not corporation-driven tech, Linux desktops becoming too good is not just about attractiveness, it is about digital freedom, it is about computers returning to users, it is about power redistributing away from gatekeepers toward communities, this scares Windows and Mac because they are losing reasons to justify control, to justify price, to justify restrictions. Linux is not taking users through force. People are walking to it by choice, and that is more powerful. The conversation online is shifting memes, jokes, praise, tutorials, reviews, challenges. I tried Linux for 30 days, videos, millions of views. Linux destroyed my fear posts. I switched and never looked back, and more people read and think maybe I should try it. Even curiosity is dangerous for competitors because once someone tries Linux seriously, they often stay. This is how revolutions start, not in boardrooms, but in bedrooms on personal computers, one installation at a time, and maybe someone watching. This video will install Linux today and tomorrow they will tell a friend and that chain continues Windows and Mac OS should not laugh because this growth is slow but steady and steady wins wars one day. Linux might be the default desktop for millions, maybe tens of millions, maybe half the world that sounds ambitious, but so did Android once and now it dominates phones. Android is Linux based, Chrome OS is Linux based. SteamOS is Linux-based servers run Linux, supercomputers run Linux, NASA runs Linux AI, research runs Linux Cloud runs Linux, even Microsoft servers run Linux, companies depend on Linux already, desktop is the last piece of the puzzle, and once it clicks, everything changes, are we near that moment? Maybe yes, signs are everywhere, more polish, every update, new UI, design, new hardware support, Wayland improving performance security, sandboxing and the ecosystem grows as talent flows and young. Developers want open source, not corporate chains. They contribute innovations, and Linux becomes better because of them. Computing is becoming community-made. Like, Wikipedia changed knowledge. Linux is changing computing. Imagine a future where students learn Linux by default. Schools teach open source office suites, programming tools, creative workflows without license fees. Governments deploy. Linux to cut costs businesses adopted for security, privacy, and full control. This is plausible and terrifying for Windows and Mac OS. They must innovate or lose users. Linux growth forces competition, meaning better tech for everyone and that is the best outcome. Not monopoly, but diversity, choice, competition, openness. Imagine Microsoft having to reduce ads because people leave Imagine. Apple having to open their system more to compete. Imagine consumers choosing OS based on freedom, not familiarity. Linux is the catalyst for that change. A reminder that technology should serve users, not rule them. Linux desktops becoming good is more than convenience. 
It is cultural empowerment, a movement breathing life into machines, creativity into minds, competition into markets, and hope into tech future. And as more people switch, the voice grows louder. That voice says no more forced updates, no more telemetry, no more walled gardens, no more limitations. Computing belongs to everyone, and Linux proves it every day. So yes, Windows and Mac OS should be scared, not because Linux wants to destroy them, but because Linux challenges them to be better users now have alternatives, real alternatives, strong alternatives, polished alternatives, beautiful alternatives, free alternatives. That is power shift. When power shifts, fear follows, and we are in that chapter right now. The revolution is warming up, not loud, not explosive, but subtle, like water carving stone, slow, persistent, unstoppable, thousand switching. Millions watching, billions influenced over time. The long game belongs to Linux. And if someone right now is thinking about trying Linux, this might be the perfect time. Distros are friendlier. Gaming is blooming. Hardware support is strong. Communities are welcoming. Performance is sharp. Themes are gorgeous. Workflows are powerful. And learning curve flatter than ever. Download, try, test, dual boot. If you are unsure, run from USB. Explore without risk. There is a Linux for everyone. And maybe you will find the one that feels home once that happens your perspective on computing may never be the same and you might look back at windows and mac os not as defaults but as options one of many not the only path and that is the real victory the world where choice exists freedom exists linux exists growing evolving shining and silently taking over one desktop at a time this is why linux desktops are becoming too good windows and mac os should be scared because the future of computing might not be locked behind a logo anymore it might be open source and in our hands forever